All right, been a while since we've done an update. We've done some races, we've done some other stuff. Haven't done an update. Uh, if you're following us, you know that me and Stacy were training to try to get a sub two hour half marathon. And then we got one, even though we haven't finished the training. So we're still training and we're still completing the sub two hour half marathon training because when we started it, and my OCD says I have to finish it because, is that OCD? I think so, uh, because we have to. Uh, that's just the way I work. And more so is uh, the course we ran it on was very downhill, which really hurt the next day, by the way. Uh, I haven't been that sore after a race in a long time. Um, but it was also very downhill. We are still shooting for another sub two hour marathon. Stacy's setting up her watch, if you're all wondering why she's just standing there looking at her watch. Uh, we're hoping to do a sub -mar half marathon in our, in the one that we're running in a few more weeks that uh, was the original goal. So hopefully we can get two in a row. Um, that one's pretty downhill too from what we've seen. I don't know if it's more or not. We'll find out. Um, my training today, is gonna be an hour and 15 minutes. I've got 15 minutes at a 10 minute pace. It's like a 10, 10. And then I need to do 45 minutes at a nine minute pace. And then last 15 minutes at a 10, 10 again. So that's kind of where I'll be. What I figure will be about eight miles, give or take a little bit. Not super excited for this. I'm kind of a little fatigued, I guess. So, um, but that shouldn't stop us, right? That's one of the things we we push through. I I guess there's not a lot else to talk about beforehand. So once she's done setting up her watch, we're gonna go run, and then um, we'll catch you then. So, I don't know, can you guys see me? <laughs> just, <laughs> just talk. I've modified the path I take when I run here. It adds about a tenth of a mile onto each loop, which isn't a lot. But it also, I've explained before, when we run east, it's uphill. We run west is downhill, not a lot, but enough you can notice. But my modification, it gives a little bit of a break where you do uphill and then you get some flat and then you get the rest uphill versus just run the uphill the whole way. So as we follow along or as you follow along, you might notice the path is slightly different, not a lot. Um, we're going up the slide uphill, hence why we're both winded already, because we're not even warm yet, like warmed up. Anyway, um, our first 15 minutes is about the same pace. After that, we'll split up, so we'll talk to y'all in a bit. has uh, splurged a bit and uh, tell us about your new shoes because she's quite excited about these. She's put a few miles on them now. What's so fancy about your shoes? Or what, you, what, what made you so excited about these shoes, Stacy? They are carbon plated, so they're supposed to be help you go fast. The reason we, I haven't tried them yet, besides the cost, is that I'm used to uh, Tyson and I run with Ultras, which are zero drop. They've got a wide toe box. And, and they're a Utah company. Like they, to support local when we can. Exactly. And so because of that, finding those same features 
but with a carbon plate is difficult. Ultra does have a line that has carbon plates, but they are kind of reviewed so-so. So I decided to try some. They are not zero drop. They have, I think it's a six millimeter drop. They're Puma Deviate something. They're the last iteration. So they were a little bit cheaper, um, $120. But the hope is that they're gonna help me go faster. They might not, um, but I've been using them for my speed sessions. They do feel springier on my slower paces. The faster paces still just seem hard. I do like them overall, I think. Um, if nothing else, they're fun colors. Any issues with uh, the change in the zero drop? Any soreness that came with changing shoe styles? Um, not so far. I haven't noticed any real major things. One thing I do notice is these shoes tend to make my feet roll in, which is probably good for me because I tend to land on the outer edges of my feet. Like you look at her shoes, her ones that she worn, and always the outer edge is the worn part. So um, it's apparent just in her tread wear where she lands. And uh, so yeah. And I guess, how many miles do you have on these? Oh, 10, maybe 12. That's enough to have an opinion. Yeah. Not a lot, but also with carbon plated shoes, they don't tend to last as long. And so they're not, I'm only using them for my speed sessions or when I want to go fast. So. Yeah. So alternating shoes, which we've heard of recommended. I do it. I have a pair of ultras that are, I don't even remember the type, Torrens. So I use the Torrens for my long runs because they got a lot more cushion and on they're still zero drop. And then my other ones are Escalanis. Escalanis, which I used to use, but now they've become my treadmill shoes. And those shoes have, from what we've heard, you're supposed to really for, replace them every like 500 miles. Those shoes have like 1200 miles on them, honestly. Um, but because the treadmills, you know, they usually have that built-in spring with them. I was still using them for the treadmill to not wear my, uh, my outside long run shoes in. I am looking at getting a new pair soon too. Um, everybody's going carbon plate. So I kind of want some. I don't want to pay the price. Uh, cheap Miser Tyson coming up there. So I guess I'll make that decision. Honestly though, the price that Stacy's paid for hers, that's about what I pay for my shoes anyways. So if it's comparable, I'll probably try it, I guess. I'm more concerned about paying that price for shoes that'll last half as long. So, uh, little shoe talk for you, I guess. We are not shoe experts. We ran with Ultras. We're not sponsor anything. Been running with them for a decade now. Originally tried them because wide toe box. I liked that. I didn't even know they were a Utah company, but that's once I found out that kept me buying from them. But they are going away from the wide toe box. And so because of that, I might switch it up. Um, we'll see. I'll let you know. All right, we've been at the nine minute pace for almost six minutes. Stacy's at that pace too. I gotta do this pace for 45 minutes. She's about to go to an eight minute pace for two minute intervals. So she's gonna leave me here in a second. I'll record her turning on the afterburners, I guess. Uh, this kind of sucks to run on. Don't know what happened here, but uh, 
Yeah, here she goes. Watch her kick on the speed. And of course it happens right as we hit the uphill. Second set of speed done. I have one more. Six minutes at 9.15, two minutes at 8.15, and then two minutes recovery. It's hard. One more, and then I've just got 10 minutes at an easy pace to finish it off, cool down. Here we go. Stacy, running up on her interval. Whew. I'm a little under halfway through the race pace session, about 22 minutes in, give or take. Almost two and a half miles in. Uh, that hill gasses me every time. Uh, I'm able to maintain pace on the hill, but by the time I'm at the top, it's so tempting to walk. I figure I got about two and a half more laps, maybe three at this pace. Now I gotta slow it back down. Uh, I love to say it's going great. It's going. I'm doing it. It's not easy. Whew. All right. Speed work done. It was really hard, but I got it done. I actually tried. This run was scheduled for yesterday. I tried to do it. Got halfway through the first interval repeat and just felt really ill so i just had to call it yesterday and try again today much better results uh no idea where tyson is he's running um i'm on my recovery for two minutes then i'll do my 10 minute cool down and then uh, i'm done so i just finished um walking over to the car could grab a drink and then I'm gonna run to the store while he finishes his run. He's got another 20 minutes. So <sighs> feeling good. I'm glad I got it done. Um shoes are still feeling good. I did there's a dog that was being walked that was a little out of control I had to run from and in the process I twisted my ankle a little bit. Um I don't blame the shoes for that. I blame the dog. Or the owner but so I, I am I do have a bit of a limp right now because my ankle hurts um, but I have pretty weak ankles so it's not anything unusual <laughs> but I think I like the shoes um, they are I think I said they're the Puma Puma deviates and Puma does offer on these shoes and some of their others that's not on all of them. They have a 30 day trial guarantee so you can wear them, run in them for 30 days. And if you don't like them, send them back. Uh, not all of the Puma line has them, but I think their super shoes do or like their carbon plated ones. Um, Ultra also has the same deal, which is another reason why we really like to support them because uh, they've got that 30 day guarantee as well. But I'm thinking I'm going to keep these. I do like them for speed work. They do help me get more spring to my step. Um, and I plan on wearing them for the half uh, for Nebo. But that's all I've got for tonight. Uh, Tyson will finish up. See ya. The 45 minutes total. We're about 22 minutes. This is my last check-in. Um, a nine minute is done. Uh, by my math, and we all know it's not great when I'm running. I ran between 4.9 miles to five miles in that 45 minutes. All right, it's getting dark. Probably all can't see me, so I'll try to keep this quick. Total distance was seven, like eight, four. So not quite eight. The first, 15 minutes at the nine minute was hardest. The hill still sucked every time, but, but I was able to do it. And then it's amazing how much easier a 10 minute pace feels after doing that for 45 minutes. But 
that's a speed session uh eight mile almost speed session done and dusted the rest of the week i got an easy run which is six miles i also had an easy run yesterday for six or on monday for six miles um i got a progression run on friday and then on saturday uh, a long easy run two hours there's stacy uh so that's where we're at anyways it's another training session done and dusted stay safe keep pushing we'll see y'all next time Plenty of miles, miles for me. Plenty of miles, miles till I have to pee.